everybody, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47. Folks, coming up after the break, it's a first timer for us. Hooked on OC is on the Route 50 bridge. We're heading out with my new friend Matt Ellis from the Ocean City, Maryland fishing community on Facebook. Saw him on there posting some stuff and had to come up here and try it out. My good friend Paul Rayburn from JPR Rods. Stay tuned after the break. We're night fishing on the Route 50 bridge. Meow! See in town. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Do you love fishing? Then Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk at North Division Street is your fishing apparel go-to locale. Our newly expanded fishing section features Salt Life, Hook, Pelagic, Guy Harvey, Under Armour, Salty Crew, Mad Ruiz, and Patagonia. Of course, the largest selection of white marlin open tees anywhere. Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk at North Division Street is your fishing apparel hotspot. Call Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage whether you are looking to build a new Spencer Sportfish or buy or sell a used Spencer or boat by any other builder. Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage are the right choices for dependable and unbeatable customer service for all your Spencer needs. Building and selling custom outboards, express and sportfish yachts from our 26-foot center console to our 90-foot sport yacht. Call or email us today to become part of the Spencer family. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City beach and boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Hooked on OC right here on WMDT TV 47. We're here every Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Hopefully you notice we've had a show or two in the books right now. We're an hour long these days. So we stop here at the Quiet Storm Surf Shop. We got a lot of fishing footage in there for you. Some cooking segments halfway through the show. And then don't forget the angler's advantage at the end of the show with the folks over there at Sunset Marina, Sunset Provisions, and Atlantic Tackle. Right now, it's getting chilly outside, man. And Quiet Storm Surf Shop has got everything you need for cool weather getting out there on the water. Salt Life, Patagonia, Salty Crew, Billabong, Ruka. Just learn that one. I always thought it was RVCA, but it's actually Ruka. That's what happens when you're not a real surfer. Rip Curl. All these brands are right here in Quiet Storm every single day. They've got 32,000 feet of this stuff. And look how fly it looks. Snap back lids, right? Rip Curl, Ruka, O'Neill even. Really, really cool stuff. And it's cool enough where you can just wear a short sleeve, throw it on, hooded versions, button downs, collars, all sorts of cool stuff, and 1,000 pair of Costa in stock every single day. Let's take a look. All right, I'm all warmed up. Got my billabong pullover on. Button down pullover, by the way, very nice. And now I'm gonna tell you about Costa sunglasses. Quiet Storm Surf Shop here in downtown Ocean City has a thousand pair in stock every single day. So if they don't have what you're looking for, I'll be surprised first of all, but they can get it like that. First, we're gonna talk about Reefton. Brand new for 2017, super fly lens, really nice frame. They got this new gray frame out this year. It's really cool. And these are mine, so I'm putting them up top. Next up, O-Search. These are special edition sunglasses. These are the ring cone. Really cool frame and it's all for that O-Search. You guys know the guys are out there catching and tagging sharks and following them around the world. That's what O-Search does. Super organization. And this is a special edition sunglass form. And last but not least, 
You're going to the deck party? You want to look fresh? You got to put on a pair of ship masters. Yes, ship masters with a P. Ship master. Super fly, gold frame, green up front. Looking dope. Let's go. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. There's nothing more exciting than a day of offshore sport fishing. The sun, the sea, and a boatload of your friends trying to land the big one. Ocean City Fishing Center is the area's number one charter fleet with 37 boats sailing out every day looking for the big fish. Tuna, marlin, dolphin, and shark. Every crew that sails is dedicated to your excitement. And all our captains are licensed by the U.S. Coast Guard for your safety. Headboats are also available for family fishing fun. Whether your party is big or small, call Ocean City Fishing Center. Tight lines and good times. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the Dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine. We're your one-stop marine center on Route 589, offering boat sales and service, featuring our new line of boats. We're an authorized Seafox Center console, Sundance Skiff, and Montego Bay pontoon boat dealer, and Yamaha service center. Like to own a boat but need to know how to operate one? Racetrack Marine also offers individual training from trailering to loading to navigating our local waters. Available for new boat purchases only by a licensed captain. Don't wait. Get underway today with a new boat from Racetrack Marine. Only one light beer has more taste, less calories, and half the carbs. This one. Miller Lite. Hold true. Hi, honey. Hey, you. So I was thinking we really need to get away. What about that month-long cruise in the Mediterranean? Hey, book it first class. Oh my gosh, you're the best. So I'm out shopping right now and I found these really cute pair of heels. How much are they? Um, they're about $1,000. For that price, get two. Oh my gosh, you're the best. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, whose phone is this? And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Yeah. All right, so Matt's, Matt's got what, we, what he calls zombie gulps here. And I can see why, man. These are undead gulps. Look at these things. <laughs> He's made these. It's every, everything from four inch swimming mullet, five inch swimming mullet, shrimp, all kinds of stuff. And he's put them together in different ways to make these cool little contraptions. That looks like a shrimp, a pink four inch mullet, and what's that green part? Uh, that's part of a chartreuse, um, I don't know, a squiddo or something a like squiddo. that. Squiddo, look at that thing. That's nasty but cool. Hacked up squiddo. All right, so I'm taking, can I have you use this one? Yeah, use anything you want. All right, here we go. Putting it on a, uh, a big eye, one and a half ounce jig head. Hook it just like you would any other gulp. And we're ready to go. The zombie. Put it in the light. Ah. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, they'll love that. You dropping her in? Yeah, we got a teaser. Yeah, we got a teaser up top and a gulp and a big eye jig at the bottom. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. I got something very, very small, Paul. I had something very, very small, Paul. <laughs> All right, getting a couple bluefish bites, but we're not here to catch bluefish, man. We are uh, flounder fishing at night. Very, very unique. If you watch this show for any amount of time, you hear me say once in a while that flounder don't bite at night, with exception. Along the Route 50 bridge here, you can see the lights, you can hear the cars. I think maybe the flounders see the headlights go by. Just kidding. These lights at night light this bridge up really, really well. And there's little bait fish down there, one of which I probably just had now. Snapper bluefish, anywhere from 6 to maybe 12 inches, maybe a little bit bigger net. Small rockfish and stuff. It really, really gets active here on the high tide. We have got incoming still, so we're waiting for it to slow down a little bit. I think that's when it turns on. Fish 
We're trying to get this fish up. Don't blow it! Yeah. There we go. Flounder <laughs> at night on the top teaser. Look at that. Route 50 bridge. Flounder at night. PA what? First time up here. PA ever. what? First, yeah. first time fishing the bridge. First time ever up here. Yeah, absolutely. Nice job, brother. Right here, give me a high, flounder high five. There you go. Damn straight. Awesome. He ate the zebra. Yeah, man. He ate the zebra zombie. Yeah. Alright man, nice job, nice job. Way to go. Yeah, you sure it's not legal? No, he's not. He's not. He's gonna be See now listen, I don't know if I can I don't know if I can trust his judgment on this. I used to work on a party bit where we call flounder all the time, but I'm just kidding, man. I, he, think, he's, I think he's 15, he, we can measure he, him. Well, let's see if he's right. I was gonna go 16 and a quarter. Let's get in there. Go for it. We can just guess. To me. 16 maybe? Oh! We'll call it a draw. You were close without going over. It's a 2016. Very good. So what do you hate the what? Zombie. That's the well, this is the zebra. Yep. And the zombie. The zebra zombie. We told you a couple minutes ago. Matt's making these rigs using these gulps and kind of recycling them, to be honest with you. He's got a little piece of one here, chartreuse job, another chartreuse job right here, and this looks like the front end of a five-inch swimming mullet, right? And uh, there's yeah, yeah. there's the zebra part of it. Uh, just a lead head, did you paint these heads too? Uh -huh. That's pretty awesome stuff, man. So he's come, basically coming up here fishing Route 50 Bridge a lot. I know you have a boat, you fish, yep. you, know you fish the bay quite a bit. Uh -huh. um, and he's a real advocate for jigging, like really, really fast jigging. I do that too, not quite as, not quite as fast as Matt does, but I like to jig once in a while too, especially when the tide's slowing down like it is right now. Way to go, bro! All right, flounder at night. Woohoo! Adios. All right, I'm gonna... uh, he might not keep, but he might be a little short. But yeah, I got one. This one hit the Naranka shrimp. Come close this way. I can feel the bite so nice on this JPR rod. Yeah, tell me about that. It's a spiral wrap. I just started using it. I definitely have enough, enough backbone to set the hook. See, I don't, I don't baby them. A lot of people just let the, uh, feed them the bait, you know, wait 20 seconds, that whole deal. When you feel the bite, you just jam the hook home. Just deal with jigging. This JPR rod definitely does the job, for sure. In my pliers for this one. Uh, What's going on? Yeah, big ray. One of them big butterflies. I don't want to break his rod. I'm gonna just bang, pop this thing off. Paul's over there sweating, going, man. <laughs> Be cool with the rod. Be cool. Yeah, it's a pretty big one. I think so. Yeah, I think so. So I wait for the net. Yeah, what, what happened? Nice fish on. Time for the net. Yeah, here we got a nice one on here. Go ahead, pull toward me. Keep coming. Yeah, it's in the water. Got him. Got him in. Got him. Got him. Can't tell if it's a keeper or not, but oh, it's a decent fish. Let's see what we got, Paul. Let's see what we got, Paul. That. Bridge fishing at its finest, homie. Another one on that, that might be teaser, a keeper, bro. Might be. What do you think? I don't, I don't know. know. He's, he's close. I don't know. 
He's close. Got him on it. It was go. worth netting it. Pink teaser. Paul's your typical Pennsylvania angler. He gets Hell everything yeah. tangled in the net. You got it. You got your measure thing. Your measure thing. You got your <laughs> <laughs> it's a PA term. No, I, I see. Go. Retired PA. Yeah, yeah, retired yeah, yeah. PA rod anglers. Come on, man, get on there. Put him on top. Stick his mouth. Up. Put it. Yeah, there you go. That's bridge. That's bridge experience right there. Yeah. Mouth against the wall. Ruler next to it. Finger bit Come on, up. man, get there. No, well, he's gonna be 16 and a half. Or right at 16. Yeah. yeah. Doing good. Beautiful. Nice fish. Beautiful bridge fish. Route 50 bridge. Nice work. Nice JPR work. rods, fishing OC. Nice work. Thank you. Here you go. I'll take it. All right. All right. You can get this untangled. Yeah, no problem. All right. I'm back to it. We'll he, can get, he can get that untangled. Catch him up. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore, available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. For over 50 years, the Oceanic Pier has been one of Ocean City's favorite fishing spots. There's no need for a license, and we have on-site rod rentals, bait, and tackle. Come and go as you please for 12 hours for just $8 a person. The Oceanic Pier is on the inlet in downtown Ocean City. This summer, why not bring your staff, your office, your team, or your organization for an unforgettable day of fun at Jolly Roger Amusement Park. 35 acres of some of the best rides, attractions, and amusements right here in Ocean City, Maryland. Splash Mountain Water Park, Miniature Golf, Amusement Rides, and the East Coast's largest go-kart track, Speed World. So for a great day of fun, call Dean Langrell at Jolly Roger Group Sales and let him put together a package to fit your needs and your budget. Did you know you can bring in your prescription to an optical galleria? Did you know an optical galleria has a lab and makes glasses right here in OC? Did you know an optical galleria is an authorized Costa RX dealer? It's simple, an optical galleria can help you see. Make an optical galleria your destination for eyewear. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store. Showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, artificial lures and leads, apparel and eyewear from industry leaders like Connolly Fishing, Versatech, Baitmasters, Costa, Pelagic, Hook, Sperry, Mojo, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Fish again. Cookie cutters, man. Yep. If you haven't figured it out by now, Matt is very good at this stuff. Very conscientious too. So what we're gonna do now is he's got some tags. So we're gonna tag this fish, throw it back overboard. So that way, if somebody finds a tag later on, they call in the number, find out where he's traveled to, where he's been, who he's hung out with. All right, so basically just poke it through the bottom, yep. some spot where it's not gonna harm him. And you can see where Matt's getting him fish back here. That's not gonna affect him any. Nope. He's, he's getting him back there in a spot pretty far back. And this is this is pretty smart too because he's gonna it looks like you're gonna put it pretty tight to his body. That way when the fish is swimming around bridge structure, wrecks, things like that, he can't get that thing hung up on anything, get stuck, and then eventually he's probably gonna die. That's hap I'm sure that's happened because those they used to have these big loop rings like this where you'd put that tag in the fish and it would stick off of them two or three inches with a big circle. Ugh. That's gonna snag on something. And this is really tight to the fish's body. Well, it also gives him a little bit of room to grow too. 
All right, there so, you go. Good call. Yep. So he'll actually be able to grow into this too. Next year, though, when he's when he's 17 inches, I'm gonna catch him, and then I'm gonna eat him. Okay. Well, if you don't get that thing in soon, he ain't growing nowhere. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Bye. Damn, my hair's dry. Yeah. Gotta cut it. They're usually longer. But let me get a quick measurement on them. Now, is this the Matt Ellis tag, or is this a? Is this a? No, this is um from the American Literal Society. The Literal Society. That's the one's Captain Marvel. Yeah. Yep. So there's my zombie. <laughs> That's the one he laid on. All right, here's the zombie again. All right. A quick measurement here. All right. Matt's gonna measure that fish, and we'll show you this thing. Look at this. Look at that. Look how ridiculous that is. <laughs> and I'm not saying ridiculous to offend the man, but this is crazy. That is act that's got to be four different types of gulps. One of them sticking through the body of another one. Some shrimp tails hanging out the back here. What does that look like? Is there anything in nature that this thing looks like? Who cares because a flounder just ate it. And up here, he's just got a little three inch shrimp, a three inch gulp shrimp. So he's getting way more bites than I am. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm getting smoked up here on a bridge and I call myself a flounder fisherman. There we go. 16 and a quarter. 16 and a quarter. All right, let's try another one. We got a couple more minutes. Oh, hey, thank you. Another fish, huh? Yep. Yeah, we got them on. Tighten the drag, man. You see him down there? Shoot him up. Can you get him up here? We're working on it. Oh, he's doing look at this. He's doing the old hoist and retrieve. That's hoist right. and retrieve. Hoist and retrieve. Hoist and retrieve. There he there is. There he is. <laughs> there he is. You only learn that stuff in your look at that. Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> you see how that JPR where I've worked, didn't you? That's exactly that, that. right. And again, we got him on that top tee. Look at Another that. shorty, man. Listen. The tide is getting good. We're gonna have to leave here in about a half an hour, but we've had some really, really good luck. And Paul is our special guest up here on the bridge tonight. He's JPR Rods, JPRRods.com. I've got mine right here. There it is. Built me this curly cue. Look down. I've showed you guys this a couple times. Look down the rod blank. You see how those guides kind of go around the blank. Really cool design for these bait casters. Got my Shimano Calcutta on it. Really, really works well. What do you got there? Custom built for yourself? Yeah, yeah. I got a uh, United Composite Spinner, uh, JPR, and uh, We've been rocking them on these teasers all night long. He can do this kind of stuff. He's fishing OC right there. He can do all kinds of graphics, names, logos, all sorts of things. You can see the Redskins colors I've got in mine. Got another one that's blue, uh, yellow, and uh, silver with the fishing OC stuff going on. He's building a rod for our inshore fishing tournament for the Ocean City Inshore Classic. That's going to have our logo on it. Going to be a prize in that uh, tournament. And it's October the 13th and 14th. May have already happened by the time you guys watch this. First ever, woo! First ever inshore tournament for Hooked on OC and Fishing OC. It's the Ocean City Inshore Classic. And it will be a show this winter. Guarantee that. Nice work, man. Look at that. Pretty fish. Yeah! On, pretty fish on the Route 50 bridge. Never thought I'd catch a flounder at night and still haven't. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome night. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'll show you, Bad Ellis. I didn't get skunked. Definitely not the target species. And you can see these guys down there rolling around in the lights. Snapper bluefish. We call them snappers because look at those jokers. Yikes. Those little teeth will take your finger off. Maybe not off, but mess it up pretty good. I'm not skunk, Paul. There you go. Ooh. Whoa. Spit up silver sides. What's he doing? Oh, he just up chucked a bunch of silver sides bait.
I'll say I think the bite is better at night because the way that they um, school up under the lights and chase bait and uh, they seem to bite more aggressively and inhale the bait rather than kind of just playing with it you know um, I don't know I fish the bridge in my, my skiff during the day and you'll catch them but I just think that uh, especially right now at the end of the incoming and the slack and just the beginning of the outgoing seems to be the best time when a current starts rolling hard then they'll uh, kind of lay down stay out of the current and not be as aggressive but when the water's slow like this then you seem to get a lot more bites Tonight is a little slower and a smaller fish. The water's a little more up. Quick release. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to jprrods.com. I was used for an oil change. Someone used me to renew their license. To help the in-laws move. I was used for traffic court. If we're not used in the next month, we're going to expire. Come on, people. Don't your vacation days deserve better? Treat them right with a week in Ocean City, Maryland. Enjoy 10 miles of free beach, great places to stay, and a fun-filled boardwalk. Visit OCOcean.com and don't miss free family events like 100 Nights of Lights. North Bay Marina has your new boat in stock and ready for delivery. Pontoon boats with industry-leading 27-inch diameter pontoons that are engineered for comfort and versatility. They're perfect for family fishing, wakeboarding, or sunset cruising. North Bay also has a huge selection of fishing boats to get you to your favorite fishing spot in style. And the North Bay Service Department can handle any repair, including on-site fiberglass. Get on board for fun at North Bay Marina, Route 54, just west of Fenwick Island. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47. We are at one of my favorite joints right across the street from the Hooked on OC studios at the Harbor Side Bar and Grill. I'm with my buddy Moose. Hey, Joyce, Scotty. You're starting to become a regular on these, bro. You must be doing pretty well inside. Huh, of course. Bobby's been telling us that too, yeah. which is really cool. Yeah. And you saw the last segment where I was with Bobby and I was wearing this ridiculous outfit yep. and you requested it again. Yep. And why? Because it looks awesome. And I'm a wild and crazy guy. <laughs> that was a 1970s reference for the uh, Saturday Night Live, if you oh, didn't know uh, so, food's going down today. Yeah. What are you putting on the plate for me? Oh, I got a blackened 12-ounce New York strip here. Thank and then you. I got a Cajun mushroom cream sauce. Ooh, I'm going to get ready boy. to add some crab meat to it. And uh, basically, it's... So, give me ingredients that are, that are in this pan right now. Because for cooking, for, right. for time purposes, we had to start a little bit early. Oh, yeah, so, what's yeah. in there right now? I got some uh, portobello mushrooms, some button mushrooms, and garlic, salt, pepper, basil, and oregano. Cajun seasoning, a little bit of thyme. Heavy cream and a little bit of white wine. And so now that's cooked, you deglaze the pan with the white wine, yeah. now you're cooking down the cream. Yes. Wow. And then I'm gonna just hit it with the crab meat. And this stuff comes in at the end where you just wanna give it a light toss, Oh, just right? a light toss, yeah. it doesn't take much. Oh my goodness. And then turn that off, we don't wanna burn anybody. Yeah, no, Bobby burns me on a regular occasion. I believe it, so. he does me too. So. Wow, And then this. we're just gonna top it right across that strip. Bro, my wife would love this. That was a bad idea. But yeah, that's our Cajun mushroom cream sauce with crab meat, and you can get that anytime. Just add on to a steak. Okay, so yeah. I was just gonna ask, is this a menu item? So you... it's not on the menu, but yep. it's not hard to make, and we you... have everything back there. Basically, just order the New York strip. Tell them you want an add-on, and mm -hmm. then it's what sauce? Uh, Cajun mushroom cream. Cajun mushroom cream sauce. Yeah, that's a quick, easy one too, oh, it's, man. It's easy. That's really, really good. Really good. Yep. Um, I'm not a fan of mushrooms, but I'm gonna save this for somebody else. So oh, what I'm doing fine. is. I'm going right down to this New York, <laughs> and this place never gives me a fork, so i got to go caveman style on a boat. Oh, yeah. You all right with that? Oh, I good? am taking this home, right? right? Yeah, of Here course. Let's try this out. Oh, my God. Mm. You bit the fat knuckle. Oh, look at fat. That ain't going to be so good. <laughs> you should have went for that one. No, no, Leave it to a chef to tell you where I should have bit the thing. <laughs> Oh, you oh, mean right there? Yeah, right there. Nice tender spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
No, she's a winner. Listen, folks, if my eating habits offend you, I'm sorry. They don't <laughs> give me utensils over here. But it is Maryland's favorite bar, so get over here. Harborside Bar and Grill, right on the Commercial Harbor. Slips right out front where you can pull your boat for lunch, dinner, any kind of thing like that. Harborside, or excuse me, Hook Motor Sea Studio is right across the street. Brother, thanks very much. Yeah, no problem. Awesome job. Thank Send you. Send us to a commercial. Send us out. Good job. Yeah. See you in a minute. <laughs> Send us to a commercial. That's a new one, Scott. We've never done hey, that thing before. Let me just look here. Hold on, watch me do this too. You want to go right, right there. Right, right here. The last bite one. Okay, cool. Boom. Mm. Oh, okay. oh, thanks, brother. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Sr. Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Fenwick Bait and Tackle, located in Fenwick Island, Delaware, has everything you need for inshore fishing. They also have a full line of live, fresh, and frozen bait, and all your supplies for crabbing and clamming. Fenwick Tackle is located just over the Maryland-Delaware line in tax-free Fenwick Island, Delaware. When it comes to offshore fishing equipment, Okaya means value. Like the 80 offshore combo for 730 and the 50 offshore combo for 530. Call Sophia at 443-880-2222 or check them out at okaya.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Welcome to fourth annual Hook Big Fish Classic. Hook is our title sponsor. Hence the name Hook Big Fish Classic. We know of lots of fish that were boated over the course of yesterday's fishing time. We'll have six boats that will fish tomorrow. They're fishing started this morning at 7 a.m. They can fish until 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. So we'll see several uh, six boats available for that window. And we're going to open the scale here at Coconut Hedges Word in just about four minutes. Okay, so we'll be back with you in about four minutes. And we are four o'clock, so scales are officially open. We're going to bring these fish down the dock from the always something. We put them up and they'll have the first official, I guess, stringer, individual fish, everything going up for this weekend. All right, we're going to weigh these fish individually first. Dave Coconut Hedges is our official weigh master. What he says goes. 68 pounds. 68 pounds on the yellowfin. That's a very nice yellowfin. Yellowfin fur, are we hanging them just like you guys caught them or what? Uh, we caught the Wahoo this morning. <laughs> Yellowfin sortie last night, so. 64 on the Wahoo. 64 pounds on the Wahoo. Nice Wahoo, too. Get that, yeah, get that off of that. Perfect. Give him a shaker. Give him a shaker. Check his bill, make sure nothing falls out of it. Alright. There you go. So what's the combined weight of the Eighty-six pounds. Eighty-six pounds on the sword. The amazing night actually. Uh, 1230, here he comes. We had no idea what we had on with that 30 pound leader and 45 minutes later we see his bill come up. So that the rest is a you know, history I guess as they say. So we'll see. Yep. yep. What up? Six 
63. 63 pounds. Ah, geez, it was a good day. It was a long day, it was a long tournament, but uh, it was good and we got some fish and we're weighing them in and that's all we can ask for, but uh, we'll see if they hold up. We're going to have fun later. All right, Gitter Dunn's white marlin has arrived. 45. 45, 45 pound, pound wahoo. wahoo. All right, it's a good fish. Come on, get there for him. 65.5. 65 and a half pounds. That's first place white marlin. There you go, guys. Everyone get up here. New three, get her It was amazing. We uh, we were hoping we had the biggest, and we did. So hope it's hope it sticks. Got a whole lot more people coming in, I'm sure, but that's a good one right there. All right, 15 pound. 16 on the dolphin. 16 pound dolphin. That's a qualifying dolphin. It's a handful of hundred dollar bills. <laughs> Do we have much to say about that, you know? But it's a good day. Stay busy. We didn't get too much overnight, but we got some good tuna right before sunset. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're in first place now, so hopefully it keeps it that way. Yeah, but we got a we'll see it how it goes. And uh, we'll get first place tomorrow still. And it was a good day. But either way, we had a blast. That's all that matters. Tuna number three, they're getting larger. 59, 59, 5, 58, 58. 58 pounds on tuna number four. Keep going. All right, guys, ready? Let's do it. It was good. We had a rough start. Our mate got a circle hook through his hand before we even left the dock. So that sort of put a damper on things. We got a late start, but we grinded it out and we, we, we went for the three meat fish and we lost the giant wahoo today. We would have we would have had the trifecta, but we'll take this. This is good. Right here, fellas. We're going to clear the leader material and stuff. Give you a fish right here in a second. Take a 82 pounds. First place white bar on the absolute pleasure.
Uh, great day. We bad night last night. A beautiful night, but he gets a damn thing. And uh, woke up, started showing at six, about quarter six. Hope to fish up at, at seven o'clock. Had the boat by seven thirty. Yeah, the Willie. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful job. time. Great crew. Awesome time. Owner Jamie's a great guy. Captain Willie, mates doing, and, and uh, Chris Morning did an awesome job. Beautiful day. Eighty-three pounds on this yellowfin tuna. Beautiful yellowfin. That's first place. Whoa! I was awesome. Kyle put us on the meat. Had a lot of a lot of fish. It was fun time. Absolutely had a lot of fish. We're not gonna ask you details about where you were and that kind of stuff, but uh, you see you have twenty some dolphin down in the box too, right? Yeah, we have dolphin, trigger fish, everything, man. It was a good time. We just uh, worked hard and killed a lot of fish, which is what this tournament's about. And you've been yelling a little bit, so your voice is gone. <laughs> last, last question, Where's what What time and what day is the barbecue? Uh, I don't know, just let us know when you want us to come over to your place. <laughs> Sounds good, brother, nice work. I'm getting 82 pound fish in third place for the big fish. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Sunset Provisions has everything you need for a day on the water, including groceries and snacks, marine supplies, apparel for every season, ice, sodas, beer and wine, inshore and offshore tackle, Costa sunglasses, Bait Masters Tournament Winding Valley Who, and the best live bait selection in town. Call Sunset Provisions at 410-213-0081 or stop by just inside the west entrance of Sunset Marina in West Ocean City. This is the original light beer. And 40 years later, we still brew it the same way. Because when you get something right, you don't mess with it. Miller Lite. Hold true. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47. We're in Sunset Provisions right now and we're bringing you that segment we're going to bring you every single week, the Angler's Advantage. I'm with Brian Tinkler right here in the front door of the store. And as we move into the off season and weather starts getting chilly outside, not right now, <laughs> but as it starts to get chilly outside, people are going to start thinking winterization, and we're here to talk about that right now. Brian, thanks again for joining us. Good to us. see you, Scott. Yeah, good to see you, too. If you don't mind, you guys have an awesome selection of winterization products here. Why don't you yep. give me a rundown on how things work? Uh, we, you know, we got you covered from top to bottom through uh, your crankcase lubricants for straight inboard boats and diesel boats, right through all your outboard oils, freshwater non-toxic antifreeze, uh, heat exchanger antifreeze, the uh, raw water side antifreeze, right through your your uh, salt terminator, boat magic for descaling and uh, cleaning out your hoses and seawater systems, and all the lubricants and everything for whether it be steering cables, throttle cables, uh, seawater valves, whatever needs to be uh, lubricated to be put away for the winter. Speaking specifically of the antifreeze, you can cut one of these and you cannot cut the other one. Correct? Yeah, there's always a lot of confusion on the antifreeze. The, the Freeze Band 50 is domestic antifreeze, non-toxic. You can drink it straight out of the bottle if you want. Uh, that antifreeze is for uh, water systems. Right. 
You can use it in gray water systems if you want to. Anything that you want to use a corrosive inhibitor on or anything like that, like running through AC system or through uh, the raw water side of engine systems, you want to use the Freeze Band 50 on. Mechanical system I mean, type I mean, stuff. The uh, Banfrost 2000. Okay. It has corrosive inhibitors on it. It'll actually coat and lubricate the internal parts and prevent them from being damaged over the winter from being dried out and, and rusting up or anything like that. Gotcha. Uh, the Freeze Band 50 use straight just as it is, and the uh, Banfrost 2000, you can cut up to 50% and still get uh, freeze protection well below zero. With fresh water? Cut that with fresh water? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. And you guys have got a whole line of diesel type stuff too on this display. But, Tell me yeah, about you this. You got a lot of <laughs> additives and treatments there. Uh, any type of fuel, whether you, we conventional gasoline, ethanol blended gasoline, or diesel fuel, you want to use a stabilizer in the, in the fuel to uh, prevent phase separation right. in the case of the ethanol, which is really the, you know, the, the biggest problem that people have with gasoline products. Uh, and as far as for conventional gasoline and diesel fuel, the, um, the additives will help maintain your octane level in gasoline and cetane level in, uh, in diesel fuel. Okay, you guys do a lot of the hauling right here at Sunset Marina. Huge slip for large boats up to how big? Uh, we haul boats. We just hauled a 78-footer. So, so anything yeah. short of about 80 feet, uh, right down to a John boat. You'll haul and block those, and then you also have the boat tail over here. So when people bring their boat out of the water, they're going to do a lot of stuff, not just winterization as far as the um, engines and water systems are concerned. They do cushions and all sorts of things like that. That's what this stuff is for. Yeah, I mean, we have a little bit of everything here with some <clears throat> interior products to prevent moisture from damaging the inside of the boat. I always recommend for people that are closing up the boats and leaving them for the winter, Anything they can do to get cushions, blankets, towels off the boat, right. take them, put them in a, a controlled environment and everything will help prevent uh, moisture damage in the, in the boat over the winter. A lot of people don't understand with the, with the, the cold and the, and the boat being contained and everything, you get condensation in the boat. And, you know, particularly if you have natural fiber fabrics where that's going to go, it. it's going right. to attract it and you, you, you can end up with damage that way. You know, if you can, uh, the boats that are going to be under tended, anything you can do to leave hatches propped open to uh, promote airflow yep. and circulation, everything can also minimize that. We have some uh, damp away dehumidifiers or chemical dehumidifiers, don't require any electric or anything like that. You can put those in there and they'll capture a lot of the moisture in the air. Something that can be, you know, uh, you know for say a 20 foot small cabin boat or something, mm -hmm. one large one will do, or, you know, you get a 45, 50 footer, you might want to use three or four of those things. And it's the kind of thing that can be serviced throughout the winter too, if you visit the boat a couple yep. times through the winter. And, uh, and you, you recommend putting those in there anyhow, even if you take your cushions and stuff out, wouldn't you? I think so yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. If you've got headliners and things like that, that's right. That are yeah, you get a lot of fabric right. that you're not going to be able to get off the boat. Gotcha. And I see that you have do it yourself kits. So for the guys that want to do everything by themselves, save a couple of bucks. But you also recommend professionals out there well, we on have, property. Yeah, we okay. have a load of professionals. You can contact the Marina office. Or on our website, we have a list of approved contract contractors that have uh, the credentials to work on the property, that being uh, business license, insurance to protect both okay. the boat owner and the marine operator. And uh, we've kind of qualified these folks to, to be professionals to work yeah. on your boat. Uh, you know, there's lots of tricks to the trade. Uh, happy to share many of them. This winterization kit is kind of a a formal uh, technology to something that right. a lot of guys use a, a simple five gallon bucket and a through haul <laughs> right. with a valve to right. use to allow you to, to stage your antifreeze, whether you're running it through a, a muff system on a uh, inboard outboard or an IO or something like that. You stage the antifreeze in the, in the system and just as you start the motor, you can crack the valve open and then the antifreeze is ready to go there. Um, you know, as far as on the freshwater side, you know, some kind of professional tips and everything. Uh, most boats above 25 feet are going to have a hot water heater on them. Anything you can do to bypass that hot water heater would be a, a great suggestion. Just go around it. Yeah, because yep. those hot water heaters are going to carry two to four or five gallons sure. of antifreeze in them. So you, if it's accessible, and some of these boats seem like they were built around the hot water heaters, but if right. they're accessible, go to the hot water heater, disconnect the hot side, disconnect the cold side. Put the two together. We have hoses and fittings here available to do that. You can do it probably for under ten bucks, and that's a you know that rig you can use over and over and over right. again. 
hook those two together, drain the hot water heater, pour just a small amount, maybe like a couple of cups full of antifreeze directly into the water heater so nothing's laying on the bottom. Right. Run this through right through the water system. You bypass that. When you're done, put it all back together gotcha. so it's ready to go in the spring. Save yourself a case of antifreeze, basically. Well, I mean, not only that, I mean, we're in the business of selling antifreeze, but sure. commissioning the boat in the springtime. If you take small preparations like that, you know, when you commission the boat in the spring, you instantly have fresh water and everything instead of spending half the summer trying to, you know, get Burns this stuff out, out of yeah, the system. Right, right. You know, another thing we like to do when, you, when you're winterizing the boat is go directly to the water pump. And if you can disconnect the feed from the water pump, drain the tank right into the bilge, and then connect your supply side, that prevents you from having to dump 15 gallons of this stuff in your water yeah, tank. Wow. If you got a you know, 60, 80 gallon water tank, just to get to the pickup, you gotta get eight, 10 gallons of this stuff right. in there. So that's another little trick. Then you know, drain that water tank down, you pour maybe a half a gallon or a gallon of this just so you have it laying on the bottom of the tank. And same thing, uh, you know, when you go to commission in the springtime, it's ready to go. You know, yeah. You're ready to go and you have fresh water for the whole summer and it's not that nasty stuff that uh, you can't stand to smell <laughs> you're much, all much summer less long. drink. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's obviously you guys are more about the customer and the customer service stuff because you could have just as easily said, yeah, come on in, buy as much antifreeze as you need. But these tips are going to help people save a couple of bucks. Yeah. And that's what we'll have them coming in here and get this kind of thing. Yeah. And, and, and lots of that stuff, <clears throat> they can do it themselves. Right. You know, other things people overlook, you know, gray boxes like shower drains and everything. It's important. You know, you can just take a little bit of freeze band 50, drop, drop it in the, your, your uh, shower sumps, uh, bilge sump areas, anything like that, anywhere water is going to lay. And, and uh, you know, those pumps and everything can be, if there's water sitting in there, those pumps, if it freezes in there, it'll destroy the pump and you'll have to replace it in the spring. Yeah, very true. Website information. You said your list of vendors is on the website. What's the website? We, we do. Check that out. Uh, www.ocsunsetmarina.com. And there's a list of approved vendors that work on our property, and that's something that uh, folks even in the immediate area can use as a resource, uh, you know, to call in professionals to help yep. them winterize their boats. And the number here at Sunset Provisions to get a hold of this stuff. Uh, 410-213-0081. Just inside the west entrance of Sunset Marina on Sunset Avenue, right out front. Brian, thank you very much. We thank appreciate you. it so much. Guys, stay tuned in just a second. We'll be back with more Hooked on OC. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. At Spencer Yachts, your ideas can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style and tradition of boat building with a unique look and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Check out Spencer Yachts currently for sale and all other sport fishing yachts available for sale with Spencer Yachts brokerage at spencerYachtsInc.com. Red Sun Custom Apparel is Ocean City's leader in t-shirts, embroidery, and promotional products. Simply put, the best graphics you'll see anywhere. Call Red Sun today at 302-988-8300. Meet, touch, hear, and see creatures from across the eastern shore and beyond at the Delmarva Discovery Center and Museum, located in downtown Pocomoke City. Experience a variety of interactive and hands-on exhibits for people of all ages. See our newest attraction, the Wally Gordon River Otter Exhibit, featuring Mac and Tuck, two North American river otters, with live programming daily. For more information, visit delmarvadiscoverycenter.org. The Delmarva Discovery Center and Museum is a registered nonprofit and appreciates the support of the community. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, so there we go. Had a really good time up here on the bridge. Thank you for tuning into this episode of the Matt and Paul Show. Because <laughs> I caught zilch, that one throwback bluefish. But these guys caught some decent throwbacks. Um, Matt's been having a really good time up here the past couple of weeks catching keepers. He caught a couple of rockfish, a couple of bluefish mixed in there, but some keeper flounder. This is really pretty unique, man. Um, 
if people are gonna come up here and try this, what would you recommend as far as a setup is concerned and then basic rig and tackle to get started? Um, use a medium light rod, uh, 15 pound braid, 20 to 25 pound fluoro, uh, use like three foot and then uh, dropper loop on the bottom and 12 inches of dropper loop on top of the teaser hook. Yep. Gulp, 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 gulp. Regular gulps, yep. Yeah. Yeah. You guys saw he does some pretty creative stuff. He makes these zombie gulps and it's basically pieces and parts of all kinds of other different gulps. You know, like one threaded through the middle of the body to make these fins on either side, a tail from one on the head of another. They're pretty cool. He actually paints his own jig heads and that sort of thing. So, if you guys are just getting into this, wow, these cars are close. If you're just getting into this, you don't have to go to that extreme, but you get like a one to two ounce bucktail for the bottom, put a gulp on that, and then up top, maybe a little floating jig or a floating uh, teaser with a gulp on that, and you can get it done. You're not fishing in deep water either. No, nah, it's, I don't know, less than 10 feet. Yeah, I'd say a couple of these spots are literally three feet deep, because I, I, was, I was jigging up, and then the, the teaser would come up out of the water when I could barely feel the thing up off the bottom. Paul, how do people get in touch with you if they want one of your custom rods? Uh, JPRrods.com, down in Ocean City. Up in PA, shop in PA, give a call, check on the website, Facebook, and uh, the teasers we were using today were awesome. We got them up at the oh, shop Oh, that's right, also. you carry more rods. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we had the teasers. I caught all the all the fish today on teasers. You'll on see your it. stuff. You'll see it. Okay, yeah, very good. Yeah, so they're, they're available. Matt uses, Paul's, uh, yeah, Matt uses Paul's stuff too, so jprrods.com. Check out his entire inventory in there. Matt, thanks a bunch, bro. Thank really, you. I really appreciate your stuff on Facebook. I do. He's one of those guys, kind of like me, that you want to get people catching fish, so he's not afraid to tell you exactly how he's doing. He's got great videos on there and all sorts of cool stuff. Paul from JPR Rods, thanks very much for attending with us today. Thank Route you. 50 Bridge is pretty cool. Guys catching the rockfish, bluefish, all sorts of stuff. October, November are really good months for it. So try it out. And thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this episode of the show. We'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs> Watch crossing the street. Yeah, right.